jumping back into Space Pirate Trainer. I've got my shield and I've got my gun and we're going to see how well we can do. Now, I have moved some furniture out of the way so we've got a little bit more space. Uh, one thing I have noticed, and this is what I want to talk about primarily, is that the game is super unfair for people that um, don't have giant rooms because even though this uh, floor boundary uh, marker here I think might be the same for everyone, this actual in-game checker, if you uh, go out of it, you can still avoid shots by uh, putting your face against the wall. And also, if you've got more space in your actual room space for your your, your uh, chaperone space, you don't then worry about sticking your hands out of the boundary and accidentally smashing stuff up. So you can see here, there's my computer desk <laughs> just to the right, and the TV, which I don't want to smash up. There's a window, which I could smash up quite easily. And there's the sim rig. So <laughs> I don't have much space. I mean, I could put it, it's safe up to the wall here because of the way I put the chaperone before it would hit anything. So it's hard to accidentally stick it through. But once you get really immersed and you're avoiding bullets and dance all over the place, and you sort of, you because you're so immersed again, you get the urge to dive out of the way, you can then accidentally dive into your furniture. In my case, jump out the window and die. Uh, I guess that makes it more realistic. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit unfair. If you, oh. oh, I just shot myself by shooting myself. Gun safety there. Don't hold a uh, shield whilst adjusting your strap. You will kill yourself. Um, so it's a little bit unfair for people in the UK that live in uh, pigsties, which is pretty much 95% of the UK population. But we'll have to make do for now, and uh, maybe maybe we just need a tent outside. Maybe we need to go to a local leisure centre and set up VR there to set high scores in action games. I'm, I'm sure developers will think of something. I hope they do. Maybe we need one of those little platforms we can run on like an idiot. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to try and do some advanced techniques here. Uh, I say advanced. We're just going to see if we can beat our high score, which is currently... 11,350, which is terrible. If you look at the high, actual high scores, like 106,000, by Omega Maker. Let's see what we can do. We're ready to rock. Uh, the best strategy I've found so far is to use this uh, single shot, uh, single shot burst sort of thing. We charge it up and fire it because that kills stuff in one shot. So once you get your, once you get your aim honed in a bit, which is tricky because I still think the gun model's a little bit off. But once you get your aim honed in, you can then take them out really quickly. So, it's just a case of doing that. And then hopefully dodging the bullets. The dodging the bullets part, as I say, is quite hard because we're not in a big space here. Look at that. Four times combo. Now, I think what's interesting with this is on a screen it looks pretty rubbish because on a screen you sort of, in your mind, if you've not tried VR, when you're watching this in 2D you start, you start comparing it to uh, Miles first person shoes and you sort of think, oh how is that involved? And there's just uh, AI robots coming at you and you know if you were playing this game with a mouse on a 2D screen it would actually be dull but what really makes it is the fact that you are actually in the game. A <laughs> terrible age. So in VR actually makes what is a very, very well, a reasonably simplistic game a lot more compelling. And I think the other comparison a lot of people make is the thing with uh, Wii controllers. It's like, yeah, you do with. Yeah, I guess you can make some comparisons in that the controls are motion controls, but unlike actual. I'm trying to shoot you in the groin. Unlike the Wii controllers, these are actually tracked one to one, so it's completely. aiming. Badly in this case. It's like actual aiming, whereas with the with the Wii or with shooters on a on a computer screen, you're sort of moving a cursor. Where is it? 
on a computer screen, yeah, you're moving a cursor to a point on the 2D screen. Where's it? There he is. Whereas with this, you're actually aiming a gun in 3D space. It's a completely different action. And I say, with a Wii, again, you're still essentially moving a cursor. Only on the Wii, it's even worse because that cursor's not even accurate. The motion controls are, are pretty inaccurate because it, it doesn't really, uh, it uses the infrared camera on it to move, to position it. But the accelerometers aren't that accurate, there's nowhere near the accuracy of the tracking that you get with this. <laughs> they can't even get me! Whoa! I didn't. I think I just hit that with my shield. I didn't even lose a life there, it's a miracle! Jesus Christ, too many. Well that's a bit harsh. We were doing alright until 30 of them came up but they'd uh, showered us in bullets. So the, the key difference with this between something like a Wii, which I think is the comparison a lot of people make, is that these are actually fully tracked in full three-dimensional space with the headset that puts you in that three-dimensional space, and it is completely accurate. So it's a completely different experience to aiming with a keyboard and mouse. So, but of course, when you're watching these videos, you're watching it on a 2D screen, and your mind will think, oh, you know, if this was uh, with a keyboard and mouse, that'd be a bit dull. And it would be dull with a keyboard and mouse, but... <laughs> That's the thing, I think that's the hard thing with VR is like you have to get out and try it to uh, really see what it's like. But we're doing terrible. Th that 13,000. <laughs> so could we beat our top score? We're going to have one more go trying to beat our top score. Um, so we beat our top score, but nowhere near the actual top of the leaderboard. I don't even know where we're positioned. We're, we're the best of our friends. VR gaming evolved, so you got 250. I can only guess it. He's just loaded the game up. Poor guy, he's probably living in an even smaller house in the United Kingdom. And Ball, who we were playing Elite Dangerous with before, he's, uh, you know, he, he's doing okay. That's a, that's a starting score, but we're leading out of our friends. So, uh, uh, you know, at least we can feel some pride in that. Let's see if we, we can beat this. Although we probably played the most out of, uh, out of the people I know, so we, we don't really have an excuse. The only thing I really want to see change in this game is I want the gun model to be pointed slightly further down. <laughs> I'm trying to hold something that doesn't exist. So that I can aim more intuitively. But at the moment, I don't feel like I can actually aim exactly where, where I want to. Just by just by firing, I sort of have to occasionally have to look down the actual sight. Though after I fired one shot, I could sort of work out where my previous shot was from the uh, tracer, and then that lets me uh, then be accurate with the next shot. But it's not ideal. We'll see. I think the developer has talked about adjusting or allowing people to adjust the gun model. That's a quite interesting with because this is obviously something that hadn't been considered. It's just this idea. Of Actually, being able to adjust the angle of your gun in in uh, for, for VR games is an option. It seems that's what people want. You wouldn't have thought that until these VR games out that there would be the demand for that. Oh, we're on fire there. We've already got seven thousand. Come on, it's when you get a whole bunch of them come at you. When you get loads of them at once coming at you and you miss, you have to hit them to disrupt them to break them off. Right. Oh, and then if you don't, yeah, if you don't move, because you these fire multiple bullets, you lose your three lives instantaneously if a stream of them get you. So. It's a little bit harsh, that, but, you know, that's, that's the uh, Laugh of Space part. We're going to have one more go. Try and beat our high school. We've got to beat 13,000. This is a good workout as well. You start actually getting a, a bit of a sweat. And I think if you're playing this with weights on your wrist, you're going to be super fit. So, uh, I'm going to try and use the, uh, the, the aim a little bit more, like the actual sight of the gun. I might bring it to my head a bit more. 
Which in some ways that makes it a little bit more analogous to how you'd aim on a computer screen because you're bringing the gun to the object. I guess in real life, if you're shooting stuff further away, you'd use the sight more uh, rather than relying on sort of intuitive aim. So we'll try and balance things up. If they're close, we're just going to shoot at them. If they're far away, we're going to use the sight more. The uh, hide behind the shield technique. Cower behind the shield. Come on. Remember to move around as well. Let's just fill a, a, a gym up. <laughs> fill a gym up with vibes and make you wear a bodysuit and just play this. Everyone will be uh, super rich. Tell you what, I'd love to play something like this. But maybe like that uh, Oculus Rift game that we saw, uh, the, the Unreal demo. Where they, uh, it's called Bullet Train. I can't hit it. There we go. There's something with actual people coming at you, and then uh, just one shot pistol guns would be better than a laser gun that you have to charge up, because then that'll be more about. Instant action with your guns. I might get that zombie game to try out actually. There we go, this is the hard one. I think it is anyway. Can you see on the minimap at the bottom? Where's he shooting from? That's that. <laughs> we're we're trodden the cable there. The cable, I think, does get quite annoying at times with these high action games. And uh, again, we sort of run out of space. So that's a new excuse now. I think if you're a terrible at uh, a shooter game in VR, you just blame it on the space. You used to be blaming it on your mouse, your keyboard, um, and uh, your computer or lag. Now it's uh, the, the, uh, you know, the excuse will be I haven't got enough room. <laughs> Needs a leisure centre. So, that's our attempt to beat our high score in uh, Space Pirate Trainer. We, we beat it the first time we did it and then got progressively worse. It's just like any game. I mean, you, the more time you point it, the worse you get. One thirteen thousand so far. <laughs> we'll try and beat it again soon. But thanks for watching this gameplay video of uh, Space Pirate Trainer. We'll see you in, the, in our next video very soon.